<laughs> okay guys, it's dinner time. So we are making cube sticks, mashed potatoes and gravy. What? I love you. I love you. Cube sticks, mashed potatoes and gravy. Macaroni and vegetable. Some sort of vegetable, that'll be green. And I guess macaroni and cheese. So I'm gonna be doing my grandma's cube steak recipe that my mom taught me. So the first things first, you gotta have your cube steaks, which we have here. <laughs> then we're gonna take some flour and I'm gonna put it in this bowl. I've also got some grease. Hi baby. Some grease or vegetable Mommy. oil Mommy. or lard, how, whatever you use. Hi. Whatever you use. Here, come over here. Um, we've got it getting doing? warm in the skillet. No, okay. I said I was getting it warm. I am now because I didn't turn it on. So, oops. So we have to wait for that to get warm. But whilst I wait for that, I will start opening up these Cuba sticks. By the way, Mama had a really good day at school. Best oh, I need a fork. I don't want to touch raw meat because raw meat's disgusting. And sometimes, like, if I look at him, like, really fast, he kind of looks like Papa. Yeah. Like, like really quick glance kind of look. Alright, so I got a fork because raw meat freaks me out. And when I say it freaks me out, I mean it literally freaks me out. I will wash my hands 150 times just preparing this meal. I'm serious. I'm afraid of cross contamination. We're all gonna get mad cow disease. I don't know what's gonna happen. Mad? Can't that only go to cows? No. Mad. See, now I'm scaring my child. Mad cow disease. All right, so we got the cube stacks here. Why are you stabbing it? And then I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350, but I might crank it up a little bit because you have to let it bake in the oven for like an hour-ish. That? All right, so I'm gonna put some pepper on these cube steaks. Now I'm gonna flip this. Ooh, these are some big pieces of meat. Oh, it looks like it's already been cooked. <laughs> All right, so we've got some meat, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the cube steak and you're gonna dip it in the flour because you want to get it breaded just a tad bit, and then you're gonna put it in the skillet and just get it crispy. You're not going to cook it all the way through. You're just going to get it a little brown on the outside. It won't be cooked on the inside. Ew. Mm. Oh, you have your child. Say mommy. 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 Say mommy. sorry. What's the matter? Say mommy say sorry to me. Mommy. Mm. Hold on, baby. I say I'll hold you. So I don't think this oil's hot yet. <laughs> All right, so I guess the oil is now hot enough, so I'm going to put this piece of meat in that oil. Like so. Try to keep it in the middle. I keep trying to lean down so I can see And it's not hot enough, but we'll just have to wait. And our mission time. So while that one's cooking, we'll start on the next. So I'm putting some pepper on it. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Pepper on that side. Add a sink. Under the kitchen sink. And so we're putting flour on this one. Do, 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 do. Under the sink, so it's all under the sink. You're confusing me. And then we're gonna keep checking this one because you don't want it to get too cooked. And you don't want it to get undercooked. Well, it can't get undercooked because I'm putting it in the oven. Well, you know what? Now, sometimes we even use this. We put this in our um, Instapot, um, which is pretty good, but it doesn't get as tender. In my IMO, in my opinion. Nobody need to know you say it like that. MO. All right, so when it's brown on one side, you flip it over. A lip. And I'm tacky, so I'm trying to flip it with a fork. <laughs> All right, so now it's gonna brown on the other side. What is this smell? That's strong. When you put your whole nose in it. And I like to just kind of hit it with a fork. I don't know why I do that. I she just likes to stab it. 
I think because I think it's gonna make it more tender because it's kind of like a meat tenderizer. But instead, I'm just doing it with a fork. So there's that. Okay, so once both sides are brown, you're gonna put it in a baking whatever. I'm baking using my corningware, which I absolutely love. We've had that for a long time. So once it's brown on both sides, like so, I'm gonna lay it in there. And like I said, it's gonna be bleeding in the middle because guess what? It's not cooked. Oh, right. So we're gonna continue to do this with all of these other pieces of meat. I have six all together. So as soon as I get all that done, then we're gonna make the gravy. All right, and then we're gonna start on the gravy, which is always not my favorite part. To make the gravy, you're gonna put some flour in the pot. Burp. Burp. And you're gonna soak up all of that grease with the flour. And then you stir it up. Okay, this is what it looks like when you're soaking up the grease with your flour. And then we're gonna add some hot water to actually make the gravy. Now let's put flour in the hot water. I asked my sous chef to do that, but he did not. You don't want it to be liquidy, and then you want to stir it. And then you just keep adding water until you get it to the consistency of the gravy in which you want. brown gravy in it one because I like the flavor and two because it makes it look pretty so stir 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 my arm's getting tired I'm getting a little annoyed because I can never get it to the consistency in which I like stirring still stirring See, it's still bloody because it's gonna cook in the oven. And if your gravy is a little bit liquidy, that's fine because it's not cooking up as it uh, Come on, we can 
motherfucker, I have nothing to show for my day. I'll do it when I was at work. <laughs> hey, look at that. Look at that. It's still there. This thing looks like some kind of primitive wood chipping or something. Go, go, go. Jordan, what's 12 times 11? <laughs> I was wrong. She said 121. But I think it's because I'm getting confused with this one. 11 times 11. My friend is 100. Eleven times eleven, one hundred and twenty-one. <laughs> All right, just took it out of the oven. This be what it looks like, and now we're gonna dig in. God is good. God is great. Let us thank Him for all things. By His hands we all are fed. Thank you, Lord, for daily bread. Amen. Got the real ring. Her name is actually Kareen, but then um, there was another Kareen, so um, Presley, is it Miss good? Gwen turned no, it into a rain. <laughs> so now we call all of us Kareen. Whenever there was time to leave, she had to go to the library and uh, read some books. And then we met up with her. And whenever my, whenever I thought she went. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I love chicken. Mm -hmm. 